unpacking the heat, understanding, have a blazing row. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel where we dive into the fascinating world of the English language. Today, we're exploring a vivid phrase that's as fiery as it sounds, have a blazing row. This expression paints a vivid picture of a certain type of disagreement, and we're going to break down what it means, how to use it, and even how to handle one if you find yourself in such a situation. So, stay tuned as we turn up the heat on today's topic. To have a blazing row means to have a very intense and angry argument. The word blazing here is key, suggesting something that is fiercely burning or flaming, metaphorically applying to how heated and passionate the argument is. And, row, is a British term for an argument or quarrel. So, put together, have a blazing row, conjures the image of an argument that's as intense as a fire. This phrase is particularly popular in British English, and it's used to describe arguments where emotions run high, voices are raised, and there's a lot of passionate disagreement. It's the kind of argument that's hard to ignore, often involving personal matters or deeply held beliefs. Understanding when and how to use this phrase can help you describe situations with the right level of intensity. Let's look at some examples to see how, have a blazing row, fits into everyday conversation. They had a blazing row about finances last night. It was so loud, even the neighbors could hear. I'm not looking forward to dinner at my aunt's house. She and my uncle often have blazing rows over politics. These examples show that, have a blazing row, is perfect for describing situations where the argument is not just a mild disagreement but an all-out verbal battle. Finding yourself in a blazing row can be challenging. Here are a few tips on how to navigate these intense arguments. 1. Stay calm. Try to keep your cool, even if the other person is losing theirs. 2. Listen. Often, these arguments escalate because both parties want to be heard but neither is listening. 3. Agree to disagree. Sometimes, the best way to end a blazing row is to accept that you won't see eye to eye on everything. We hope this exploration of, have a blazing row, has illuminated not just the meaning of the phrase but also how it reflects the intensity of human emotions and conflicts. Remember, understanding such expressions enriches your grasp of the English language and equips you with the nuances necessary to navigate its complexities. Thank you for joining us today, and we look forward to bringing more insights into the English language in our future videos. Stay curious, and happy learning!